guys, today we'll be building this Lego checkout counter. So in this bag, I have some items. These one by two tiles. And we have this rotating area here, which, which we can see at the top. We rotate these items or the tread to check it out. So let's take a one by two, place it on the tread, and then rotate it. It comes to this part, side. It gets checked out here by the minifig and gets placed in the basket. Another one comes. Okay, and then the minifig, the minifig gets it and checks it out and then places it in the bag. Okay, and then another one came. The minifig checks that one also and then places it in the back. Then it tells the order how much it costs to the person who was buying it. And then the basket, and then you could take off this basket here. Not that hard. Okay. And then the mini, and then you could hold this basket with the items in it. Taking it where you want it to go. So I like how this is actually a working one. And where it actually where the actually items move because sometimes i don't and also i didn't have the right gears actually for this so i just used some uh, some bush pieces and a uh, one rare band and it worked perfect for the tread i used these axle pieces because they worked perfect for this and yeah so i like how it's a spinning one and a working one actually we have our person here who checks it out. We know that. And we have this little TV here. I count, I counted it as it's off. I didn't have any, I couldn't find any of my 2x2s two um, tiles. So I used a 2x2 um, two two jumper plate. So let's do um, build this. So I'm going to take off this minifigure. take off this part because we're going to build this in sections the basket one part this part the mechanism another part and the basket I'm not going to show you how to build it so it's actually not going to be a part just going to keep it somewhere because I don't because it's not a build it's actually just a rubber band tied in up into these holes the inside the basket so that's how it works. And this one before here. Okay, so let's start. First, let's start with a 4x12 base plate. Take a 1x4 plate and place that like this. So there's a 1x4 plate at the end. Take your basket, place whatever things you want to place in there. I got these uh, one by two tiles, which work really well for this machine. And place that like this. So the one by four is right here. Okay, so now we're done with, like, the, with this. Uh, you could take your minifig. First, I want to build this part and then take the minifig. So I'm going to keep this uh, off to the side. And let's build this. So this part is pretty big. And it has many tiles and pieces. And it's one of the harder parts in this. I'm going to take it off in sections so it's easier. Just like I said at the starting. I'm going to build this in sections because it's a hard, it's a pretty hard, big build. And yeah. So take a 2 by 4 base. So I'm going to place all of this to the side. Take a 2x4 base plate, take a 1 by brick, one brick and place it like that. But on, on the 1x1 one one brick is a 2x3 um, base plate, then the 1x1 one one brick, then some a 1x2, 
on a 1x2 plate on the top, which is a vent I used. But you can use a 1x2 plate. And then another 1x1 one one brick with the stud, with one one by one stud on the bottom. So it reaches the same size as this one here. Okay. So, I'm gonna take off this part. I'm going to take off this part here. And take this 1x10. And place that like here. Right here. Then take a one by one brick and place it all here also. So it looks like that. Now I'm gonna take a six brick. Except the six brick is gonna be like this. So this one by two brick here. Or this one by six brick like this. And then a one by one brick hole here. That's gonna be a one by one brick with one stud on the side. I used a one by one brick with one a one by one brick with one hole in it and then a technique pin. It does not matter. But except this one's a little loose. So it's now probably gonna mostly spin. But I have some ions which make that stop. Which make it not spin. So this is gonna be facing like this. Okay, like that. And we're gonna have to build this here. And we're gonna place this here. In here, machine. This is a checkout counter. So I'm gonna take this one way two ramp. Place it here, and that's what I mean. We can place this here now. Yeah. Yep. So take it one way two vent vent and place that here. And you don't know how to place this because you don't you don't know how to make this because you haven't made it yet. So I'm going to get you a, so we're going to need a 2x4 tile and then a 1x4 plate. Now, we can take a 1x2 um, a, a with the hinge on the top, except with these lines here, not with the side parts with the bar. And then we're going to take this 1x2 with the one, um, one hook on the side there. And then you could take your tile as a TV or a two by you could take a tile for the TV a TV looking. And remember to face it backwards. It's like this. And then at the back I'll take a one by two plate. Place it here. And then connect that onto here with the van. Like here. So you can see I'm gonna connect this. Okay. And I did it was slightly a little wrong. This is like, a, here you go. So like this. It's a little lower. So now the TV screen is going to go like this. Okay. Next I'm going to take a ramp. One by two ramp. Place that here. Then take a 2x4 tile and place that here. And then take this piece, which is a 2x2 tile, but then a 1x2 on the top. And then place that like this. Here. Alright. So now it looks like this. We can't connect this to our car, so our base, so we're going to have to build the mechanism to connect it, and then we can connect it to our base. So let's build the mechanism. And the mechanism is not that hard. It's pretty simple. If you think, of, if you say, this mechanism came really quickly to me, the idea, so it was really easy to build. And yeah, I have these in little parts and in the mechanism part. So let's build the mechanism part first because this is most important. This is how you place the other pieces on. Take off this rubber band here. And this is one of the big rubber bands. So I just created it smaller. And now that I created it smaller, this rubber band could actually go on, saw, and on these and they actually, and they will work.
many one by three axles. Many of these orange pieces and bush pieces. And one rubber band for this. So if you don't have any rubber bands, you might not you, you might not be able to build this. Cause uh, this uses rubber bands. I'm just gonna take off these pieces in here to see for to so you guys can see what um we have here or what I have here. All right, so let's start. Actually, I'm not ready yet. Now let's start. So take this one by six brick with uh, five holes in it. Take a one by four tile, place it on the top, like that. Next up, we're gonna take a one by four axle and place it in here. Take one of these orange pieces, place it in that one by axle. One by four axle, like that. Take a bush piece, place that in and the one by four axle, so it, so the rubber band can go on, and it will tighten it up so um, it wouldn't just fall out. Then take this piece here, place that on like this, and then take this part. This is a um, pin, except a longer edition. So now you could spin this. And then the rubber band will help it spin the others while you spin this one. So then we're going to take a 1x3 axle. Place that inside. Take a bush piece. Place that in. Take one of these. And place that in. Okay. So now it's like this. Okay. And keep on doing that until you reach the end of the one by five axle, or one by um, the one by six brick with um, five holes in it. Do keep on doing this until you reach the end of that, because then when you reach the end of that, then we we'll, um, we are done with the mechanism. We just have to do some of the some of our items, or like uh, we just have to add the rubber band. That's what I mean, you know. Okay, so now, okay, I've added all of them with the bush pieces on the side, and we can only spin one of them because we don't have the rubber band on. So to the rubber band, push one, the both sides together. Okay, and then spin that, and then come over. So it lock makes this like a whole shape, two of them. So it's connected. And then I'm gonna place that on. So now when we spin, you could see this actually working. If you don't see it properly moving, let me show you now. And if you see at the back, you could see for sure it's moving by the axles. Like that. So we create this part. Now take a one by four brick with four studs on the side. Can't see those studs, there it is. Place on the bottom like this. Take two one by one bricks and place them on the side. So they're like this. Okay, and then take this piece, so let's build this up. You see this one by four tile, we have two spaces here, one by two space. Take it one by two, place it there. Take two angler bricks, two of these angler bricks, and place them on there. 
take a 1 by 2 tile and place that in here. Because if you check out those and other items, so you could add those items or whatever you want to add, you could add here. You could add the 1 by 2 tile with the numbers on it to look as a display. And yeah. So now let's take this and connect them. So you see this 1 by 6 here. I'm going to take this 1 by 4 the 4 studs on the side and connect that right there. So it's going to connect like this. I'm going to first connect this so you'll see. Something like this. And you could see the studs face like this and then connect to the 1 by 6. And yeah. Next, so let's connect that here. So you'll be done. Places here. Okay, so we're going to turn it. To the area, so the one by four is here. And then we're going to connect that to here, the grid. So we're, and it's, so it's done. So now it's done. You could take your mini figure, place it here, and yeah. So now you have your you have your own working tread, and you can make any modifies to it. It's your choice. And if you take items, they'll they'll go roll by the working tread and how it works. And to see that, let's see the action one more time. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and smash that like button.